Welcome to GraduateMonkey.com. In this video, I would like to show you a specific type of reasoning problems that you may come across while taking recruitment tests for a blue chip firm. So this is called a diagrammatical reasoning or uh, some, in some other circles it may be called operational reasoning assessment. This is typically used uh, for assessing technical people such as engineers, architects and programmers. So in this specific type of test you have several sections, uh, specific sections, one that displays operators. So each of these operators, each of these shapes have the effect uh, of something. Basically they change a set of um, shapes or symbols to something else. So there's an operator and there's effect. For example, the sun shape, as you see, changes shading of circles. So if it's unshaded, it makes it shaded and vice versa. This moon shape or half moon shape changes size of squares only. So if it's a small square, it makes it bigger. If it's bigger, it makes it smaller. This quad arrow shape, as shown in this illustration, changes the sizes of unshaded shapes. For example, notice here that you know the quad arrow made both the square and the triangle smaller. And here, when you use it in combination, first the quad arrow made the pentagon and the square smaller, but because the half moon shape changed the size of squares, the square reverted to its original size afterwards. Now let's look at the problem here on the right side. The problem is displayed in the form of a set of shapes, applied operators or set of operators, then the output. So this is input, set of operators applied to the input and the output. Your job is to check what the output is or whether the output given is correct or sometimes you need to choose the output from the given answer choices. Usually there are only four choices. So note that we said earlier that the quad arrow changes the size of unshaded shapes. So in this case, that would be pentagon and circle. So the quad arrow would make pentagon bigger and the circle smaller, while the shaded square would left unchanged. Then the sun shape, we should look what does it do? The sun shape changes the shading of circles, right? So, so this is what it should look like, okay? So this is your output. So they're saying, is this set of operators correct? So there's an exclamation mark. If, you're, if you were given this output, would this be correct set of operators? Yes, because as I have explained earlier, this quad arrow would make pentagon bigger, circle smaller, and the sun shape would change the shading of the circle, unshaded to the shaded. And that's it. These are um, typically used uh, in Saville diagrammatical reasoning assessment, and this is kind of an example. But you, you may come across this in PLI assessments as well, professional, professional learning indicator tests as well. 